Hello everyone. Let us see now the eighth concept, Kingdom Fungi. The discussion here helps you understand the following: one, fungi habitat; two, fungi structure; three, fungi nutrition; four, fungi reproduction; five, phycomycetes; six, ascomycetes; seven, basidiomycetes. 8. Deuteromycetes. Let us try to understand each of these. Fungi Habitat The fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms. They show a great diversity in morphology and habitat. You must have seen fungi on a moist bread and rotten fruits. The common mushroom you eat, and toadstools are also fungi. White spots seen on mustard leaves are due to a parasitic fungus. Some unicellular fungi like yeast are used to make bread and beer. Other fungi cause diseases in plants and animals. Wheat rust causing puxenia is an important example. Some are the source of antibiotics, example, penicillium. Fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air, water, soil and on animals and plants. They prefer to grow in warm and humid places. Have you ever wondered? Why we keep food in the refrigerator? Yes, it is to prevent food from going bad due to bacterial or fungal infections. Fungi Structure With the exception of yeasts, which are unicellular, fungi are filamentous. Their bodies consist of long, slender thread-like structures called hyphae. The network of hyphae is known as mycelium. Some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm. These are called cenocytic hyphae. Others have septae, or cross walls in their hyphae. The cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides. Fungi Nutrition Most fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrates, and hence are called saprophytes. Those that depend on living plants and animals are called parasites. They can also live as symbionts, in association with algae as, lichens, and with the roots of higher plants as, mycorrhiza. Fungi, Reproduction Reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means, such as fragmentation, fission and budding. Asexual reproduction is by spores called, Condia, or sporangiospores, or zoospores, and sexual reproduction is by oospores, ascospores, and basidiospores. The various spores are produced in distinct structures called fruiting bodies. The sexual cycle involves the following three steps 1. Fusion of protoplasms between two motile or non motile gametes called plasmogamy. 2. Fusion of two nuclei called karyogamy. 3. Meiosis in zygote resulting in haploid spores. When a fungus reproduces sexually, two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse. In some fungi, the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells to end. However, in other fungi, ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, an intervening dikaryotic stage, N plus N, that is, two nuclei per cell, occurs. Such a condition is called, dikaryon, and the phase is called dikaryophase of fungus. Later, the parental nuclei fuse, and the cells become, diploid. The fungi form fruiting bodies, in which reduction division occurs, leading to formation of haploid spores. The morphology of the mycelium, mode of spore formation and fruiting bodies form the basis for the division of the kingdom into various classes. Phycomycetes Members of Phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitats, and on decaying wood in moist and damp places, or as obligate parasites on plants. The mycelium is aseptate and cenocytic. Asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores, motile, or by aplanospores, non-motile. These spores are endogenously produced in sporangium. A zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes. 
These gametes are similar in morphology, isogamous, or dissimilar, and isogamous, or oogamous. Some common examples are mucor, rhizopus, the bread mold mentioned earlier, and albugo, the parasitic fungi on mustard. Ascomycetes Commonly known as sac fungi, the ascomycetes are mostly multicellular, example, penicillium, or rarely unicellular, example, yeast, saccharomyces. They are saprophytic, decomposers, parasitic, or coprophilus, growing on dung. Mycelium is branched, and septate. The asexual spores are condia, produced exogenously on the special mycelium called conidiophores. Condia on germination, produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores, which are produced endogenously, in sac-like ask, singular ascus. These ask are arranged in, different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps. Some examples are aspergillus, claviceps, and neurospora. Neurospora is used extensively in, biochemical and genetic work. Many members like morels and truffles are edible, and are considered delicacies. Basidiomycetes Commonly known forms of basidiomycetes are mushrooms, bracket fungi, or puffballs. They grow in soil, on logs and tree stumps, and in living plant bodies as parasites, example, rusts and smuts. The mycelium is branched, and septate. The asexual spores are generally not found, but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common. The sex organs are absent, but plasmogamy is brought about, by fusion of two vegetative, or somatic cells, of different strains or genotypes. The resultant structure is dicaryotic, which ultimately gives rise to basidium. Karyogamy and meiosis, take place in the basidium, producing four basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium. The basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies called, basidiocarps. Some common members are agaricus, mushroom, ustilago, smut, and puxenia, rust fungus. Deuteromycetes Commonly known as imperfect fungi, because only the asexual, or vegetative phases of these fungi are known. When the sexual forms of these fungi were discovered, they were moved into classes, they rightly belong to. It is also possible that, the asexual and vegetative stage have been given one name, and placed under deuteromycetes, and the sexual stage another, and placed under another class. Later when the linkages were established, the fungi were correctly identified, and moved out of deuteromycetes. Once perfect, sexual, stages of members of deuteromycetes were discovered, they were often moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes. The deuteromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores known as condia. The mycelium is septate and branched. Some members are saprophytes, or parasites, while a large number of them are decomposers of litter, and help in mineral cycling. Some examples are Alternaria, Colitotrichum, and Trichoderma. The next concept is Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. We suggest you to subscribe the channel, and also click on the bell icon, to never miss any updates from our channel. Thanks for showing interest in Dikshanit. Have a great day.